We have Medical Careers Night at Liberty Hospital. If you have any interest in medical, I would ask you to consider this because they'll give you tours behind the scenes of different departments so you can see very specific stuff. If you want information, if you want me to follow up, I will do that for you. Great. So I have really enjoyed my years of school counseling in the past, uh, the career component of working with students and helping them make connections to different resources. Um, I feel like we're at a time in this area, the KC metro area, that is just booming with opportunities. And so to be able to focus on that with students and to find what they're interested in and helping them make connections to those resources, I just find that very rewarding and, um, and very important work. Yeah, so part of our challenge is getting the word out that we do have this new position uh, called Career Navigator and what does that mean and, and how can we be uh, resources for students. And so I like to find ways to get out to classrooms and talk to, to students just to make them aware. Um, and then I find once they're aware and once they attend some events and they kind of see what we're up to and what we're all about, making those connections for them, they understand it and they really take off. I think uh, um, they tend to uh, do above and beyond what we expect. And so careers can be another component of that. I think it definitely opens a lot of doors. I mean, there's so much stuff that I, we're not exposed to a lot and we're missing out. There's this huge gap. We're missing out on a lot of stuff. And so for Mr. Anderson to come in and be able to just thoroughly explain opportunities that we have as students, it just shows that they want to take initiative and they care about our success after high school. And like, I really appreciate that because not everyone has the support that Liberty High School can give. And I think it's really special. So uh, within my role, the first couple weeks are actually training up our interns that we currently have. So it's working with professional skill development for them, um, making sure they feel comfortable going to their internship site. And after that initial couple weeks is, is done and those students are off, then I go into kind of recruiting mode and talking with um, classes and things like that. But I'll tell you, a lot of success stories already from students out on their sites. A um, lot of great feedback coming back about their experiences. I had one um, intern who got a job offer on the second day of her internship because she was doing so well. Um, so those kinds of things really um, are what drive um, us to continue to grow and reach more students. I thought that he gave like a lot of useful information. Like I knew about the job fair, I knew about the interns, but internships. I didn't. He gave a lot of information that I don't think a lot of kids know about about the paid internship things and all of the, like the YEP program, which is a $5,000 scholarship. Like he gave a lot of information that I think a lot more people could use. Oh, I would want families and students to know that it's really all about taking a step of action. And when students learn to do that and take a step in the direction of their career goal, there are so many opportunities, it's, it's endless. And so the first step is really critical. You know, get involved, get active, go to one of these events, contact your career navigator, whatever that step is, that will lead to more opportunity for you. Awesome.